It is Gerwin Price versus Peter Wright. Let's get them on stage with John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we will be waiting for. 127 players came and just two remain. And now, for your entertainment, we present the final of the Coral UK Open. Brought to you by the Professional Darts Corporation, live on ITV Sport. And at this time, we give a very, very special welcome to the millions of viewers joining us around the world. This is Butlins Minehead! And it's time to meet the finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, into his first televised final, the winner of two PDC ranking events. Ladies and gentlemen, the Iceman going And now, ladies and gentlemen, could it be third time lucky? A two-time UK Open finalist, the former world finalist, and finally, for one more time, let's get this party started! Finally, Peter's time to shine to take us through the first half of the UK Open final. Alan Warren a little and Stuart Pike. Thanks, Jackie. A moment in darting history awaits for Peter Wright or for Gerwin Price. That tantalising first major TV title in an hour's time. One of these two will be celebrating the biggest moment of their careers. Peter Wright started as the number one seed, the tournament favourite, and he's linked up to that tag, and he's dealt with the pressure superbly. Gerwin Price has come through the pack and has beaten the likes of Pipe, Palace, Hogan, White and Norris to reach a landmark moment. Gerwin Price, just over three years ago, turned up at Q School as a total unknown of impacting rugby to have a go at darts. What a story and what a final we should have. Yes Stuart, two players desperate for their first major title is right to fulfil his promise or can Price upset the form book and do the business. We will see. Well the price the will be right. But who will it be, Peter or Gerwin, as we get underway? 2017 UK Open final, odds on favourite Peter Wright, Gerwin Price, nice the big outsider. But he is relishing every moment of this. Fantastic experience. 99. And he'll give it a real go for sure. From the semi-finals, Stuart, 
because the Gerwin Price got through a lot earlier. He's had time to reflect on the position he's in, what he could achieve, what he has achieved. I suppose for Peter Wright with that short turnaround. Nice straight in the back room, sort himself out on the practice board. Get himself ready to come back on the stage for the culmination of Four. this year's Coral UK Open. And there's bound to be no human nature in the first couple of legs. 1,461 legs of darts. And it comes down to the next 21 or less to decide our champion. Been a terrific three days again. Seventy. This tournament is littered with players who come through the pack to reach the final. The likes of Burgess and Walsh, Bates, Mawson, Osborne, West Newton. All losers though. Could go with Price, buck the trend. Could Peter Wright finally win that elusive first title? He's come so close. As it is time. 18 for double 16. Oh, Great start. What a lovely start for Peter Wright to hold throw. Tell you what, his finishing has been absolutely outstanding this weekend. He was again in the semi finals against Daryl Gurney. It was a 144, and Gurney was poised. It was a, a big 96 with double double and double 18, Whoa. double tops. Here's one for you, Stuart. If Wright does win here, what else do you think he can achieve? 123. Well, I think he can go on to win more. We look back at James Wade when he played Terry Jenkins in the World Match Play some ten years ago. Nice Similar scenario, it was going to be a first TV title for whoever won. Wade won and he got on to win seven. Some will say it's a tougher era in the sport. With Van Gerwen and Anderson and Taylor still around. Lewis, Wade himself, but... I've always felt that Peter Wright would win one. And I've always felt that when he does, it'll be a springboard for more big TV success. But he's got to win one first. That's right, he's still got to do it. Another one of those. I oh, may go for Bull anyway. The titles are few and far between, as we know, Stuart. Very hard to win. And there's also the new breed of player that's around the corner. All the youngsters on the development tour in the JDC who are looking to be professional dart players. He's given his chances and he's taken them and it's 2 0 in the blink of an eye. But it's a remarkable story the rise of Gerwin Price. On the verge of the top 16 in the world. And as I mentioned, he, he turned up at, at Q School a little over three years ago. Playing rugby union for Cross Keys. Still plays rugby. 81. A couple of weeks ago, he was playing at Fly Half for his local club, Markham. Still plays in between the darts. I suppose one thing you've got to watch for doing that is making sure you don't get any injuries. But the, the change of tap, the change of career, the change of life has, has worked for him. 70,000 for the winner. 35,000 for the runner-up. But it's all about the title. It's all about the glory, the silverware, a TV major. And that oh, moment in history when it could quite clearly change your life. The name is in the history books as Price. Now well, it's 2 0 down, but he's hit the first maximum of this final. Yeah, 141 80. He's given him a chance to hit back here. He took out this in the semi final with two tops, but this time he's looking at treble for double 10. 90. 
Unlucky on the wire. Good attempt. Double 20 for double 12. Good adjustment. Over to the left hand side. Beautiful finish from Peter Wright. Are they the darts of a champion? We shall see. Just looks so comfortable, doesn't he? When he's on the finishes, doesn't look under any duress or pressure. His price starts with a lovely 177. Is it going to be followed by Peter Wright? Well, the first two were. Second one, third one in the carpet. Couldn't find a way through, could he? 134. Good scoring leg here from Price on throw. Needs to get that first leg on the board as quickly as possible. So far, you have to say that 57. That Wright has dealt with the favourites tag superbly. Yeah, Price. Sometimes 84. It is, the stats do not tell the story. <laughs> At the moment, that's the case. Price averaging 101. Right, 94, 95, but it's 3 0 up. 140. Going to require 109. And no finish for right. Ball or treble 18. May stay there. Yeah, earlier on, when he was interviewed by Ned with Raymond Van Barneveld before the quarter final. He dismissed the fact that he was favourite. It was just gamesmanship. He's been favourite since before a dart was thrown after the withdrawal of Michael Van Gerwen, but he's, <laughs> he's handled it beautifully Here so far. 63. Certainly getting that big average the night before the tournament. Well, he's missed the single 43. 10. 84. The nerves and the pressure of the occasion. And all of a sudden, Peter Wright could make it 4-0. Oh, such a long way ahead. Going Price in this leg. He needs the ball. 43. Not quite. Going you require 20. For his first leg on the board. Number five. Games and that will make him feel a whole lot. Better. Crucial hold of throw for the Welshman. Yeah, the last first time winner of a PDC major. Michael Van Gerwen. All the way back in October 2012 when he beat Mervyn King to win the World Grand Prix in Dublin. In the previous month, Simon Whitlock had won his first. Of course, won the European Championship. In Germany, beat Les Newton in the final. 140. And then in the June of that year, Robert Thornton was a first time winner. Of course, he won the UK Open with that fantastic performance to beat Taylor in the final. So, so many good players around there now. We've never won one. Absolutely, yeah. Very hard to do. Trouble 18 needed, or two trouble 20s. Unlucky. 93. Peter Aguirre, a lot of players 87. have tried and failed to win a big one. Tops for right. Gets well, it's all going right at the moment. Is he closing in on that first major title? 4-1 it is. Peter Wright in front. Crucially, four out of six on the doubles. And Gerwig Price has it all to do against the hot favourite to win his first big title. So far, so good. Right four, Price won.
Where he left off. Fantastic. He's been so again. Here we go. It's always a great time, is it, to hit a maximum when you're just following your opponent. Always great to hit two. Yeah, but the way that, that Wright held it all together against Van Barneveld says a lot for me about how he's been this weekend. Yeah, you have to say that was an outstanding game from both players, I must add. Yeah. 105, going to require 117. Yep, yeah. 17 and tops. This would be a big boost for him. Excellent. Well done to forget with Price. A third 10 plus finish of this final. Always come out of the break, firing on all cylinders. And he did that one. 100. Yeah, Peter Wright taking out 110 and 104. Steely determination. 100. On the face of the Welshman. What a moment for him to be involved in the big TV final. 85. Big session this for Gerwin Price, Stewart. He's fallen down after the first one. He's taking the first leg. Even a 3 2 would be a positive response. Well, he's got a great chance here now. He's, he's effectively got the darts. And he has now. Against the throw. 83. right now needs to respond with a big visit should move over to the 18s here yeah four will be the finish whereas four 20s wouldn't have 64 BT require 170 well, can he work his magic in the final with a 170 finish. Oh, a fatal hesitation. He must have known those two darts were in. He was checking with the referee. And he may pay the price as Gerwin looks at tops for a 120. Easy. Easy requires 25. Key moments. Double eight. All weekend, you know, Alan, it's found the winning double when it really, really matters. And more often than not, with the last start in, in hand. Well, as an opposing player, when you're waiting to throw and you see your opponent miss with the first two, you think you've got a chance, and then it's taken away. When that third dart hits the target. Well, he's promised so much over the years, Peter Wright. Gerwin Price bangs in a third maximum. It is the, it's the night that Wright finally gets it right and delivers. Lost in a World Championship final to Michael Van Gerwen, lost two UK Open finals to Michael Van Gerwen, been beaten in World Series finals, 71. been beaten in World Series events, lost in the final of the World Cup of Darts too. Yeah, bounce out of that last dart from Gerwin Price, could be costly, doesn't look so at the moment, oh, certainly isn't now, poor dart there from Peter Wright, single 17 should have been the yeah. shot. Yeah. Went for the ball. It was a slap down. 140. Right to leave 50. And no shot for Peter Wright. Well, there will be now if he gets another chance. 105. Going to require 50. Got to go this. He's missed the big 10. 
So he only gets one dart at tops. Ten score. The pressure of the occasion may be getting to Gerwin Price. I just rushed it a little bit, but when you do that, it's very difficult to get your composure back very quickly. Oh, and a big leg for Peter Wright to win. It's a break of throw as well. Gerwin Price only got one dart at tops from 50. And he yeah. pays a heavy price. He came out firing, didn't 96. he? After the break. A 12 darts with a maximum and a 1 1 7 finish. With one at tops. 57. And then one in that last leg where it probably should have been two darts. And he had a bounce out, if you remember. Yeah. He just looks so comfortable. 140. Is Peter Wright starting to believe this will be his night? This will be his moment. This will be his first big TV major. 95. Well, he's got himself in a great position. Most parts of his mental game have been pretty good over the last six, eight months. Well, he, 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 he won three out of the six UK Open qualifiers, rightly here as uh, the top seed. 131. Had that amazing 119 and a half average in the Premier League at Exeter. Came here 91. in such good form. And he is writing his own script. Well, he's been some injury pressure on him and he was labelled the favourite at the start of the weekend but he's playing like a favourite and has do all weekend not on that occasion he'll be disappointed still averaging 100 and three missed darts for 7-2 he comes back for another crack Wow. Oh, how about that? Beautifully thrown. 7 2. He inches closer. 140. He certainly does. He's looking good. He's looking very good. 140. 140 apiece in this leg. Where do you feel that Gerwin really has to take on throw before we go 50. to the second break? He doesn't want to be 8 2 down, 7 3 is a different story. He'll feel like he's still in the match. Well, to stay in it, got to win this leg. 80. Uh, caught the flight on the way through. Good response from the Welshman. Yeah, 171. Excellent response. The reason he went for the 19s, seven of them would have left the 170 finish. But he managed to get all three to leave. 140. The lovely 132. Treble 19 for the bull. Bullseye for prize. Just would have poked him up, wouldn't it? The 171 followed by the 132. Oh, Peter right here. Uh, looking for the treble 18 to leave the double 18. Not quite. But again, some pressure on Price. He has to get this. He really does. And he keeps the final alive, Gerwin Price, the Welshman, still has it all to do, but it's in the hands of Peter Wright, he's the big favourite, at the moment he looks on course to win that first big TV major, four legs away, Peter Wright leads Gerwin Price, 7-3, he's nearly home.
So four legs are the difference between the two players. Peter Wright in his third successive UK Open final. And it's the first ever major TV final for Gerwin Price. And I just wonder, uh, John and Chris, whether that leg that Gerwin Price won just then will have given him a huge amount of confidence and perhaps even the belief that he could win this, bearing in mind it was all slipping away from him prior to that. Well, it will have certainly kept his hopes very much alive and he's got to come back from this break really with some impetus and to try and drive on from that, Chris. Yeah, he has to try and nick the next mini-session 3-2 uh, and then he's got every chance. He's, he's lifted his average on, on every mini-session up from sort of low 90s. He's now up to 95-2-9, but he's still some near five points behind the Peter Wright average, so he's going to have to continue to raise his game. You'd think, Jackie, that the the experience of Peter Wright now would be the key, and it would be a major shock if he weren't to get across the line now. Very much so. I just wonder what's going through Price's mind at the moment. Will he still have that kind of belief that he can come back from this, do you think? Yeah, there's no reason why not. I mean, he showed tremendous tenacity and, and bottle at many times. We've seen that that 160 finish, uh, the, the 100 finish where he hit two tops under extreme pressure. So, you know, he knows he got another sort of two gears in his game, but finding them in a final, he's, he's never been in a major final before. A lot less experience than, than Peter Wright, obviously. I mean, he, as I said earlier, he was in Q school three years ago, so it's a great achievement, but he's got plenty of fight in him. There's, there's, there's no quit in him, that's for sure going to be very much relying on Peter Wright and the pressure taking its toll on his shoulders. That's his best chance of coming back from this. But there's been no sign throughout the tournament, despite the fact that he's had that favourite tag, that it could tell on him. No, he's looked very strong, hasn't he? He's, uh, he's come up short eight times in televised finals. But, you know, I mean, you say he's come up short, but he's come up short by and large. One occasion against... Uh, Phil Taylor, but the rest of the time it's against Michael Van Gerwen, who's just been extraordinary. OK, well, let's see whether he can finish off the job. He is just four legs away from lifting his first major trophy in the PDC. Take it away, Chris and John. Well, thank you very much, Jackie. It's uh, going to be an emotional moment for Peter, I'm sure, if he does get across the line and, and win this one. He's got the experience. It would be a huge surprise if he were not to prevail from here. Yeah, he's got a nice four-leg cushion and throw. So that potentially should be a five-leg cushion. And like I said, the, this game doesn't look like it's got a dip in it. Maybe when the winning line comes a little bit closer, he might have a bit of a wobble, but I can't see it. He's a, he's a proven winner on the on the Pro Tour, and he's he won two of the uh, UK Opens, or possibly Whoa. three, I can't remember, the qualifiers to actually get here. And there's number one seed, and, and playing like the number one seed. Yeah, he's been, uh, he's been very, very solid all weekend. Performance against Raymond van Barneveld earlier on was absolutely superb. Sensational. Average over 110, Whoa. his second highest televised average going on the back of that brilliant performance in the Premier League last week when he beat A.D. Lewis and averaged not far shy of 120 in the process. Yeah, so definitely, the, definitely the full man coming into this. If he doesn't get this, that 130 is going to be a must-take for Price. He might not get the chance. Bullseye! 136. Only one treble needed in this combination. Treble 20 for Ball. Great second dart. Not such a good third dart. I think that had to go, Chris. You just get the feeling in, in this match so far, he's just been trying too hard and he's he's just pushing himself too much. Double eight. And it's now eight three. Well, that's what we said, isn't it, Chris? In the in the previous match when we were commentating, we said it was a kind of key for Gerwin that he just had to get up there. And produce the sort of darts which has served him well to this point. But he's, as you say, he just looks as though he's been striving to produce the sensational rather than just rely on the rhythm that has served him so well all weekend. Absolutely spot on, John. We, we, we spoke about it in length. It's, it just has to be more natural. Just relax and let them flow. That's more like what he wanted. 
got a real well he's got a whole absolute essential that he holds his throw but he missed a little bit of a glimmer Easy of an opportunity two. there against Peter Wright that's the sort of thing which you've got to take the if game you're going changes, to claw your they? way back 99 just, just forcing the issue third time lucky for Peter Wright if he gets the win here twice beaten oh, in the final as he gets a bounce out let's have another look at that oh well it clipped Bit just about everything on the yeah. way in didn't it <laughs> can't uh, can't be raising eyebrows about solid bits on the board there it was a solid nice bit of dart one. yeah it was a solid bit of metal bit of a chance here for right piles in a a big score should come down 99. Well, i'd rather be going at a turn than one three six so one three six great first dots another trouble 20 for double eight he's not got it so right with a chance of a break may see tops tops again if he misses the uh trouble 20 with his first start did it uh, with double 18 tops oh that's a bit of a marker yeah double 10. well he's got to get this yeah Double ten. Yes. Well done. Eight four. And start running out of legs. Needs to break. The right throw. One hundred and thirty-three. He doesn't need Peter Wright walking in and hitting a one thirty-three. <laughs> Needs another. Comes with the territory, I'm afraid. Ninety-six. Why is the world number three? Wright's doubles have been marginally the better and he's scored just a wee bit heavier. 85. 43, 44%. It was very much the case in the Gurney match, wasn't it? it was, there wasn't a lot in the scoring. But the finishing stats proved, 81. as always, to be the most important thing about this game. Through the tournament, Peter Wright's checkout average is 46%, which Phenomenal. is very, very good. Yep, that's right up there. 60. Especially when you consider this is his 60th leg of this tournament. Yeah, again, another thing we stressed earlier on, it's stamina as well. Peter Wright, the older man in this, uh, in this battle, but he's shown that he's got competitive stamina, kept it going, maintained the standards. Oh, he's done it so often he knows how to pre prepare he, even down to things as do I eat don't I eat do I, do I go and have a nap especially Price. on finals day Price has got a chance of a break here Chris that's a good first start from Peter Wright bullseye now for 124 nice. now Price has got to take this shave the wire on the uh, in the previous leg and shaved the bullseye wire there. He's pulled another one back. He holds now. Will Peter begin to feel the heat? Still a glimmer of uh, opportunity, and with stress that Peter writes the man with the experience, but he's also the man who. The darts. The darts indeed. He's also the man who, a little bit like Terry Jenkins, he's kind of got the monkey on his back. He's never won that big televised tournament. And is that going to prey on his mind? Could well do. Certainly will if Price keeps piling in the 180s. 96. A solid position for Price to be. 183 in front. 58. Wright's average. Just about for the first time for a while has dipped below the 100 mark. The price has just continued to lift his average throughout this match. Well, Peter Wright needed that to stop a little bit of a mini rot. Yes. He's treble 15 for tops. 31. Won't be happy with that. Fortunately, no finish for right. Well, the finish after this might be on a double. 
100. Well, just a ton, but very makeable. So, well, Price has got to put this away, you'd think. Tops for 8 6. Okay, well so done, he's pulled another back. Incredibly, up to this final, right? 180 stats were something else. Something else. He got 34. Only the one in this final. And we're in the 15th leg. 97. One hundred and forty. Pumped up for this one now. Forty-one. Oh. Having a little bit of a right wobble. Another one coming here by the looks. Is right starting to just tremble a little bit? The favourite is just quaking a touch. One hundred and forty. Yeah. yeah, they said as one. Treble eighteen to leave one seventy. Fifty-five. Maybe a few of you haven't uh, seen Gerwin Price playing before, but you know he's a very good player now. Still turns out, still plays rugby. 123. Former professional as Bethan watching on. Been with Gerwin every step of the way this weekend. Two at double eight, uh, double sixteen. After hitting that treble eighteen. <laughs> Good dance. Good dance. Peter Wright takes it and is now just two legs away. Gerwin Price 6, Peter Wright 9, he's wobbled, but is he now on course once more? The final of the UK Open moving towards its conclusion. It's the first to 11 legs. Is Peter Scott, is Peter Wright going to become the first Scott alongside Robert Thornton and Gary Anderson to win to a PBC title? It looks that way. Good start. You remember as well. Jockey Wilson and Les Wallace going back on uh, the yep. BDO tournaments, going back into the 80s and 90s. Jockey Wilson, oh, two worlds and four British titles. Scottish legend, of course. Gerwin Price would be the first Welshman oh, ever to win a PDC major title. But he's got to win it now in a pretty way. extraordinary fashion. It's got to be 5 1 from here if he's going to take it. Well, that's a brilliant visit. Both partners of the players, Ethan and Joe. 140. Well, the business end now. Price 142. Can't be done. He opted for the trouble 17, trouble 17 route for top. 84. Peter Aguilar 120. Peter Wright's had one attempt at this. Mm. Just came up short. Now he goes again. Good first dart. Trouble 14, second visit. Now bullseye. Just to the Missed left. it last time. Mm. Left again. Almost the same Peter hole. 58. Has Tops. to go. Has to go. Oh. Did the chance go with that dart? I think so. Nine double eight to go with him one, and he will have to throw in the next leg to win. Yes. 
his first major title, he has, one leg away. He has one hand on the trophy. In fairness, I'm the best player. The whole event for me. It's overdue in a lot of ways. Well, very, you're, very good player over too, the last no, year or two. Too good not to, really, isn't he? It'd be, uh, be a shame if he never lifted a major, but Not looks enough. very likely now. Could be just 12 darts away. Four throws. He'll probably say, I'd have liked Michael Van Gerwen to have been there. I'd have liked to have beaten he's him. Fine. But you get your titles, you know, he's Michael's got the back injury. Not here, and that's the name of the game. No, no, no stats on trophies. Just your name. Boisterous form in the closing stages of this match. Trouble 20 for 170 to leave 170. 92. So six starts from 225 for Peter Wright. That's handy. It's not bad either. Oh, lucky. Two darts away from the title, maybe. How much? Oh. Has to go for a 20. 70,000 quid to add to the coffers. 80. I don't Mick, think he's short. Sure. <laughs> bag of towel for Peter. For the title. 16 ball. What a way to win it. This would raise the roof and he yes. does! What a way to win the title. His first televised title. Celebration time for his followers and for the fans. It will mean an awful lot to Peter Wright. Gerwin Price sportingly gives his congratulations. What a weekend he's had, reaching a final for the first time. And Peter will be fighting back the odd tear up there, I'm sure. Certainly Joe, she is feeling it as well. And Peter Wright, there'll be a huge sense of relief as well as achievement. Absolutely. Congratulations to Peter Wright, lifting his first major. Also, congratulations to Gerwin Price, played his part in what's been an absolutely epic tournament. One of the best I can remember. Well, I've said before what a nice fella Peter Wright is, and it proves that good guys do get to the top. They do win titles. He's got a lump in his throat there, he's feeling it a little bit, but he has fulfilled a lifetime ambition, and he is the champion. He's beaten Gerwin Price and celebrates with the fans. He's won it 11-6. just a few moments ago. She'll be even prouder in a moment when she sees her husband get his hands on a big trophy for the very first time. Let's let him do it. Good John. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing end to an incredible competition. And now it's time for our presentation. Please welcome, on behalf of Butlin's Mineheads Resort, John Wybrow, and on behalf of our title sponsors, Coral, please welcome Claire Edwards. So, ladies and gentlemen, our runner-up in his first televised final, winning £35,000 and the trophy, and it goes to the Iceman, Gorin
magnificent trophy. But most important of all, the title of Cornwall UK Urban Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. It's made by Peter. I wouldn't cry. <laughs> you promised yourself, Peter, you wouldn't cry. We no longer we, we no longer have to say Peter Wright, who has yet to win a TV major, because Peter, you've done it. Thank you. Down to these, down to all these guys here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joanne. I love you so much. Um, uh, it's just down to you all guys and uh, that support is fantastic. I've decided to go with, you know, is, I've, I've got two of them indoors. <laughs> but hats off to go in Price because, you know, being from next rugby player, coming to dance, and what he's done in dance so far is brilliant. So, you know, we have a good banner together and he's a great guy and he's going to go a lot further. Absolutely, Gerwin, would you come over very quickly and just have a quick word with us? Yeah, you can hear the reception you're getting, Gerwin. You've, you've made a lot of friends and you must have learnt a lot about your future here over the last few days. Yeah, the crowd's absolutely unbelievable, you know. My first ever major TV final, it means a lot to me. I, I was a bit nervous up here, but... Peter's played brilliant all weekend and fair play, he's, he's a deserved winner and you know, apart, Michael is the best in the world but Peter's, Peter's second best and he's going to run Michael for the rest of the year I think and fair play to Peter, he deserves it. Yeah, well said. Gerwin Price ladies and gentlemen, Peter, Peter just very briefly. Now, now that you've started, where's this journey going to end? How many more majors? Is this the opening of the floodgate? Well, hopefully Michael will have a couple more weekends off and uh, I'll be all right. <laughs> no, I wish Michael all the best and uh, he gets well soon. I want, it, oh, you know, I want him here. Uh, we all miss him, uh, especially in the back room. He's a, a fantastic guy. He's the best player in the world and we all miss him. Marx, get well soon, Michael. See you soon. Well said. Ladies and gentlemen, stay nights. speech by a classy player. He can finally call himself a major winner and deservedly so. He'll be looking back at those photos over the next few years, possibly wishing that he put Scottish paint on his head instead of American flags on his head. But he won't care too much at the celebrations begin. Alan Warren a little has joined me up here. He thoroughly deserved his victory, didn't he? And to finish it on the ball proves just how solid he's been. Yeah, it's always nice icing on the cake, isn't it, to, well, take a big shot out, but always on the bullseye. It, the crowd get going, they look at it, and when it goes in, and the relief for Peter Wright, it's not just been the relief from this weekend, it's been the relief for the last two or three years when he's got so close. You know, you can see the tears there when he'd won it. You know, he's, he's, he's done the journey now, he's finally got to the end, and I don't think anybody can deny the fact that he deserves his first title. Absolutely, it's his fourth major final in the PDC. Losing the previous three all to Michael Van Gerwen. Now he's got this monkey on his back. Do you think it will give him that extra confidence the next time he faces Michael at a major Oh, tournament? the next time he plays Michael, he'll smash him. 
<laughs> Sorry, Michael. No, I'm only joking. Got a bad back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, to be fair to Peter, there, you know, I mean, we've all missed Michael this weekend because he is the supreme player at the moment. Uh, we've all known that Peter Wright is close by behind him. Um, he's played so well recently, particularly on Thursday night in the Premier League, and he's played brilliant this weekend. You know, he's going to be a major force if he hasn't already been in the game. I'm sure there's more titles there on the way, and this is only the start. Well, this might inspire some of the older players, perhaps, uh, in the game, that they can win their first major, perhaps, with Peter being nearly 47. But what about the younger players, with Gerwin Price only being a pro for three years, only playing darts socially for the first time three years or so before that? Well, Gerwin Price has got to be very proud for two things. One, what he's done over the last three years to start from scratch at Q School to get where he is today and from his exploits this weekend. When he reflects on this with his family and his friends next week when he gets home or tonight, he will be very proud. Obviously he wanted to win, who doesn't? But he's had an exceptional weekend, not just for his game and his self-belief, but for the rest of his career. What a great tournament we've had as a whole. Yes, we've missed some of the big guns and, and the class and the pizzazz that they bring, but it has been a wonderful, wonderful tournament. I think I love and everybody else loves, certainly at home and in the crowd here, the diversity of the tournament. It's been absolutely brilliant. Love it. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much, Alan, and to the rest of the gang. Well, tomorrow, the snooker takes over on ITV4. Make sure you join Jill Douglas and the team live from Land Dudno for the Players' Championship. 6.45 and it carries on through to next Sunday's final. Well, earlier this year, a Northern Irishman, a Scotsman and a Welshman walked into this venue dreaming of becoming a major winner for the very first time. And no joke, Peter Wright has gone and done it at last. Well done to him. Good night.